this 48 year old lady with uh, fracture distal to the proximal radio ulnar joint with radial head fracture this is the ct subtraction view showing non reconstructible radial hood head so this is just to show that the biotech process is press fit how it works well so we know that this requires rigid fixation for ulna regarding radial head there are options either fix replace or excise since it is a stable situation all options are valid i went for uh, fixation of the proximal ulna with Virisha, one second. Yeah. so this is a question to you and seniors like tanna sir that day one we feel in terrible triad that it's a stable elbow and we excise the radial head and then it turns out to be an unstable elbow and we repent that we should have either reconstructed or replaced radial head. How many times has it happened? Uh, previously long, long back that has happened but I keep the external fixator ready in such situations. Nowadays we have plenty of radial head processes. Uh, press fit, UMA. No, no, that is a afterthought. Now, day one we have done uh, excision of radial head, thinking that isolated, this terrible triad is. Radial head, no, 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 no. I am talking of terrible triad, thinking that this terrible triad is stable, coronoid fixation done, oligronon fixation done, evidence of elbow dislocation when patient presented. But on table, you thought that everything seems good, uh, so very stable. Se second stage, we can go for processes then. Tanla, sir. <laughs> sir, Saval is that ki terrible triad aaya aapke paas. So, day one, he presented with elbow dislocation, coronoid fracture, oligron also fracture, whatever. We reconstructed everything except for we excise the radial head which was non-reconstructable. So no patient you goes home. In a terrible triad? Sorry? In a terrible triad, why will you excise the head of the radius? No, that's the, that's the mistake I thought that on table it seemed stable to me. But patient goes home, six weeks later he comes back with a kind of a flail elbow or Sublux. unstable elbow. If you ask me, if you excise the head of the radius, which I have done it, then I will have to go and stitch the MCL, a anterior fiber of the MCL, uh, on the medial fiber of the MCL is probably not that important, but there will be an avulsion of the muscles also, so you will have to stitch that. If you have done that with the coronoid, with the coronoid repair, LCL repair, head excision and the repair of the MCL, I find the supination pronation is extremely good. Okay. Despite of uh, it being unstable. Uh, you, you are missing the protocol. If it is if it is unstable no, no, no. on the Naveen, if, Naveen. if it is unstable on the table, why why to remove the radial? It is on, on it is stable, stable on table. On table. So later on it becomes unstable. Correct. No, no. But I am today. In a terrible trial, nobody leaves the head of the radius excised. I completely agree. Why I am asking you is, 25 years back when we were completely unaware about terrible triad and you had not done it, what happened to those patients today? So, as I said, I have three to four cases where somebody had excised the head of the radius. He comes to me, I suture the MCL. There is yeah. no coronoid there. I suture the MCL, elbow becomes stable. Okay, okay. Rather, okay. both the uh, collaterals repair is required in such situation. Yes, Dr. Sangeet. It is other way also. A simple looking radius, whenever you are operating, either plating or replacing or excising, uh, always consider that as an element of terrible triad. Yes. Agreed. And the, the key to that is isolated head of the radius fracture Without the MCL or LCL rupture, there is not much of a sh uh, swelling and there is no ecosis on the medial side. Yeah. So when you think of excising, first you see there is not much of a swelling, there is no ecosis and on the table you try to see the, uh, try to dislocate the elbow into this position. If it is not dislocatable, then you can excise the head of the radius safely. 
Great point. So, soft tissue but swelling in, around in, the elbow. In isolated radius, previously we were doing only conservative treatment, no excision, nothing, only slip. What is about that, sir? If there is I'm medial contusion… <laughs> if there is medial contusion, that is like… there is likelihood of MCL injury, clinically. Medial contusion, you cannot excise the head of the radius. Yeah. So, this is the press fit design. So, there are five sizes available and uh, since this is posterior Montegia, you, if there is no proper size processes available, you can always excise. So, Virisha, give us some tip on choosing the processes, the right processes, the right size in this uncemented. How do you choose that? So, uh, on AP image, the, bo the joint surfaces should look parallel to each other. That is one thing, there should not be any varus. Varus means proud prosthesis, a bigger size one. And the prosthesis upper surface should be just at the level of sigmoid notch or one millimeter less. You can choose a smaller size prosthesis rather than choosing a bigger size. And always you have to repair lateral collateral, even though you replace uh, with a proper size prosthesis. One. And you check it on AP as well as lateral image. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you. Uh, the one quick suggestion, your plate of ulna should have been little more distal. The uh, trick to that is in triceps you give a small nick so yeah. that your plate goes so flush to the bone. So it is sitting on triceps. This is sitting on triceps. Sitting on triceps. So give a small nick so that your yeah. plate gets pushed yeah. to the bone. This is follow. I lost follow-up after three months, but the patient had full range of motion, yeah, so looks probably it uh, didn't turn on. So that is the take-home message, proper size processes, otherwise excise and need, requires rigid fixation for ulna. Thank you. So I would like to ask one question, this uh, sure. biotech prosthesis which is there, you said undersize it rather than oversize. So does the thickness, vertical height of the prosthesis go on increasing as the diameter increases or uh, you have yeah. multiple options? Uh, usually Indian uh, patients uh, having, are having small uh, radial, size, radial head size. So probably uh, the type 1 uh, prosthesis size 1 or 1.5 is suitable for most of the patients. Very rarely you may require uh, size 2 or onwards. For our patients, it is usually but below 2. But the vertical vertical height of the prosthesis height thickness increases, height goes increases. on increasing as the diameter increases. There are only fixed 5 sizes available. So choose a smaller one. There are 6 to 7 sizes and a combination of 21. 3 neck heights. 3 neck heights. Six point five and Thank something you, like seven point seven. Three is ten.